If you didn't know what this game is, this game is called 80s Overdrive, obviously. Uh, I've already started a profile, I don't really know much about it, but it's a lot of fun, and I only played one race, and I really like the music. Career mode, level edit, well, we're gonna look at all of this, I've not even, I've not really looked at it yet, but we will. I'll play volume. Okay, we're good. Okay, so... Oh, I didn't know that. Ooh, I like that. So what's Night Tree sound like? Invested a good bumper. A better one means better resistance to damage and cheap repairs. Press any button. Oh, okay. the synth wave that it comes with, along with the old 80s, uh, what do you call it, the old 80s aesthetic that it gives off. Like a lot of this could definitely be used, like that back skyline would be great for matte material if you play card games. I think 7 out of 18, or is that the track number? No, 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 I'm 6 out of 10, there it is, it's up there. There's a way to shift gears, I just don't know how to do it. Inner code, new level, okay. Uh, what else do we have? We got Meadow, Night City, Ancient Town, Elite City, Forest, Mountains, Desert, Seaside, Meadow. Uh, let's use... Um, let's use Night City, I don't know. What should we call this? Uh, because 
I don't really know what I'm doing, so, you know. <laughs> so if I wanted to... Okay, let's just see what it does. Let's find another song. Yeah, let's try this song out. I haven't heard this one yet. Nitro Boost! Refills automatically. You have two uses per race, though. So don't fuck it up. Really? Oh, that's what that means. Cool, okay. Also, you can use the D-pad. I just realized that. That's a little bit easier on me. That's this, we don't really need to do time attack. We know exactly what time attack is. <clears throat> so obviously you already saw that. That's what that is. All right, let's move on to the next game. So we've got career, arcade, time travel, garage, and statistics, it looks like. There's no, doesn't look like any, okay, so there is a left and right. Apparently, uh, L treats it as a, uh, A button, didn't know that. But it's funny that it thinks I'm using that. Yeah, I figured it was basic buttons. Whoa! Okay, that I didn't expect. Uh, so if you're curious right now, I'm actually controlling this uh, like a steering wheel. Like, you can't see my hands, but... Let me check this. So we got sound, controls, show vehicle, HUD, radio. I like that. Try Toy-Con controls. What does that even mean? Alright. Let's see. You got arcade mode, garage, uh, 
Uh... Oh, that's what they meant. You can get the, like, the labo and stuff. Okay. Interesting, but no, I'd rather not. Oh, that's funny. It thinks my controller is upside down. Oh crap, okay, yeah, we're gonna need to turn that off. Wow, yeah, I can definitely tell by, oh my god. I can definitely tell just by the feel of this, that like, just looking at this. Second to change gear. Uh, gear change automatically. Okay, we'll just leave it in that. Hide, show the equipment. What other Dutch? I'm good. Leave it in Japanese. That's Korean, obviously. Um, so I think that's really. Let's try out arcade mode. Okay, let's try this out. See what he does. Oh shit, I forgot I have to steer this way. I like steering this way because it, I, can, I have more motion, I have more control. These have very like, late PS2 graphics. Like they're not awful, they're definitely pretty good. But, I mean, if you're going to release it on the Switch, you could have upped, the, upped this a little bit. Shit! Oh, shit, that sucked. Let's try that one more time. Oh, it's X to repeat, okay. This is very synth wavy. That's probably why I really like the song or whatever I'm listening to. If you hadn't noticed, I'm very big into synth wave. Oh, I barely have to like bump this thing in my controller and that shit will happen. actually happened to me before. I'm too addicted to this. I want to try it one more time. I've actually had this ha Oh, I, I clicked me, so it's probably going to take me back to the menu. Okay, did time trial to garage? You know what? That's all we really need to do. We just need to chest this out. So, if you're curious about whether or not you want to buy these two last games, I do highly suggest getting them if you like them. This was originally uh, $10, but it's like 90% off, so I think it's like $1.50 right now. And uh, the other one... The 80s, the 80s uh, racing game, which I think is better than this game. The only real difference is quality and uh, how it looks. This is more about time trials and career modes, while the other one is more based on, um, I don't know what you want to call it, probably, you know, just racing in general, which I have to say, 80s Overdrive, that's what I was going to say, 80s Overdrive is definitely a game that... If you enjoy like synthwave and old schoolness, that's good to go there. Go towards that one. But if you enjoy PS2 style graphics, 
uh, weaving back and forth with a single J, not a JPEG, a single GIF on your screen. You know, that's not, this ain't a bad game. This is definitely, for $2, barely $2, this is not a bad game. It's got a good uh, soundtrack. Even like simple games like Fortnite, in my opinion, are more aesthetically pleasing than this. But, what do you expect? Anyways, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, the notification bell if you enjoyed this. Uh, content, please come back anytime you like for any of my other content. Later.